Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. I'm here to discuss a concerning development that has emerged from Iraq, where the United States has taken an alarming step in encroaching on the country's sovereignty. Recently, it has been reported that the Central Bank of Iraq was forced to allocate an entire floor of its facility to the U.S. Treasury Department. The purpose of this move is to monitor the bank's money transfer operations and prevent any illegal activities. Now, this may seem like a reasonable measure to some, but it is, in fact, a very clear violation of Iraq's sovereignty. The Central Bank of Iraq is the primary financial institution of the country, responsible for managing its monetary policy, currency, and overall financial system. The fact that the U.S. Treasury Department has now taken up permanent residence within this institution is a concerning development that deserves our attention. The implications of this situation are far-reaching. By having a direct presence within the Central Bank of Iraq, the United States is essentially asserting its authority over the country's financial affairs. This is a significant intrusion into the internal affairs of a sovereign nation, and it raises serious questions about the extent to which Iraq's government can truly make independent decisions regarding its own financial and economic policies. Moreover, this move could be seen as a form of economic colonization, where the United States is using its financial muscle to exert influence over Iraq's economic and political landscape. This is particularly troubling given the long and complex history between the two countries, which has been marked by military interventions, political instability, and ongoing tensions. The consequences of this situation could be far-reaching and potentially destabilizing for Iraq. By having the U.S. Treasury Department monitoring the central bank's operations, there is a risk that the bank's independence and decision-making processes could be compromised. This could lead to a loss of public trust in the institution, as well as a potential erosion of Iraq's economic sovereignty. Furthermore, the presence of the U.S. Treasury Department within the central bank could also have implications for Iraq's relationships with other countries and international organizations. There may be concerns that the United States is using this as a way to gather intelligence or exert pressure on Iraq's financial dealings with other nations, which could complicate the country's ability to engage in international trade and investment. It's important to note that this development should be seen within the broader context of the complex and often tumultuous relationship between Iraq and the United States. The U.S. has had a significant presence in Iraq since the 2003 invasion, and the country's sovereignty has been a contentious issue for many years. Throughout this period, there have been ongoing concerns about the extent to which the U.S. has interfered in Iraq's internal affairs, both politically and economically. The current situation with the Central Bank of Iraq can be seen as a continuation of this pattern where the United States is using its financial and diplomatic leverage to assert its influence over the country's institutions and decision-making processes. The news of the U.S. Treasury Department taking up permanent residence within the Central Bank of Iraq is a deeply concerning development that raises serious questions about the country's sovereignty and independence. This move represents a clear violation of Iraq's financial and economic autonomy, and it has the potential to have far-reaching consequences for the country's economic and political stability. As we move forward, it will be important for the international community to closely monitor this situation and to ensure that Iraq's sovereignty and right to self-determination are respected. We must continue to hold the United States and other powerful actors accountable for any actions that undermine the sovereignty of smaller or weaker nations. Only by doing so can we truly uphold the principles of international law and the rights of all people to determine their own economic and political futures. 
Thanks for the watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update.